Yo guys, what is going on? It is Invin here, and today what I'm bringing to you guys is a video on the maintenance downtime slash little update thing that we are getting tomorrow on April 19th at, of course, the day of recording this, depending where you are in time zones, as you can see on screen, for me, it is tomorrow 7am. For any guys in the US, you will be getting this later on this evening. Now, this covers a few things that I'm just going to quickly go over, and there is also a Twitter contest ongoing at the moment, which I wanted to cover for you guys as well to keep you all in the loop with kind of the latest and greatest news as it is quite an interesting and probably one of the first type of things we've seen of this ilk from New World. Now before we get into the video, as always, if you haven't already done so and you would like to see more New World content from myself on the channel here, I do upload every single day and cover everything to do with the game, so do make sure that you drop in a subscribe with the notification bell on down below and if you do go on to enjoy today's video and find it useful please do drop me a like as it massively helps to support my content without further ado let's jump into it so the first thing here that we're looking at is of course this maintenance window that we're going to be getting pretty much in a few hours time from the release of this video it's estimated to be about two hours long and it's going to be fixing certain things which they've listed here to be collision underneath Neshatam's platform has been adjusted to prevent players from falling into unintended areas essentially you could fall through the map uh, in some of these areas when you got knocked off and it was kind of looking a little bit weird kind of just falling into endless water or something like that so that has now been fixed and hopefully you should just die instead of going into some weird little dimensional space underneath that map. Uh, they've also fixed a number of issues with Nashatim's encounter causing him to go dormant sometimes during the fight even if you're not trying to cheese it which obviously I wouldn't recommend if you're doing it regularly you can just get to certain points on the map depending on where you stand unintentionally where he just kind of freezes stands still spins around a little bit and then randomly comes back so again hopefully that is fixed with these changes here. We've also seen a fix to an issue where Isabella was unable to attack players if they stood in certain areas. Again, a little bit of a cheese strat that has now been fixed in this update, which is great. And they've also walled off the spot where players could jump down to re-enter the arena. Again, this is in the brand new Tempest High Expedition. You could essentially get back into the boss fight. And so now that has been fixed as well. So any of you that were trying to cheese it, unlucky, you're out of time with that now. And um, for those of us that have been doing it properly the whole time, now we're, at least we're going to be a peg up because we've actually had the experience of doing the whole fight. And finally here, they have fixed an issue where certain elemental creatures granted incorrect rewards when gathered. Uh, not entirely sure what this is. I'm assuming it's going to be towards the wolves that drop the wood. Then you've also got the deers that drop some of the quintessences and the wolves in the caves that drop the quintessences as well. Not too sure what they've changed here specifically. So I'm going to have to go and have a look in game at actually what they've done with that because it just says incorrect rewards. Um, so I'll have to check if they've been upped or decreased and I'll let you guys know. But for now, that is what we've got. So it's just going to be a short little update, mainly clearing up the Tempest Heart. But it is worth knowing about as it is going to be a downtime on the server. Now, like I mentioned towards the start of today's video, we also have a Twitter contest ongoing at the moment, which is a housing competition. It's the first type of thing that New World has done with regards to their game here, and it basically says, show us your home decorating skills for a chance to win a pet and furniture item. Three winners will be selected. Now, what you have to do is take a screenshot of your home, post it on Twitter with your player name and server slash world. So you can either do that directly on Twitter or you can come onto this forum's post and click the hyperlink to take you to Twitter and use the hashtag best Eternum abode, which is obviously another word for home. Uh, the contest ends on April the 25th, 2022 for Los Angeles time. So again, if you're in the UK, that'll be just into April the 26th, early hours of the morning, probably like 7 a.m. ish. Um, and there is a rules kind of hyperlink, which you can check through there if you want to as well. Now, it does have to be your own home. That is one thing I can tell you, but it is pretty cool. And you've seen some pretty cool contestants submit their responses already on Twitter. So even if you're not particularly interested in getting involved, it is quite interesting to see what people have done with their homes around a turn because obviously you can see certain ones on your server. Um, but there is obviously all the other servers and things. And it, some people have done some pretty cool stuff. And it just basically has come with this artwork here. So it says, do you have the best home in Eternum? We want to see yours. 
Then they have said how to enter, which is what I've just read out for you guys there. And then finally, you will get a shout out, a pet of choice, and a furniture of choice. And it looks like you can get all of these different types of pets here, and all of these different furniture uh, pieces here as well, which is pretty cool. And it's the first kind of thing where they're giving away some sort of cosmetics that are locked behind their marks of runes to someone for just kind of playing the game and decorating, which actually is a pretty cool thing. Now, if you are someone like myself that hasn't spent an awful lot of time in it, but you would like to get involved, like I said, it does end April 25th, so you've got about a week, just under a week from the time of posting this video, so you've got plenty of chance to kind of get in there and get involved with that, and of course, you can go ahead and head over to this on Twitter to see some of the people's responses to it, which is pretty cool. Now, like I said, it's nothing game-breaking, but it is the first type of event we've seen like this from New World, so I thought it was interesting to mention alongside the maintenance downtime that we're going to be seeing for this week's update but other than that that is going to be it for today's video guys so i'd like to thank you for watching thank you for your time if you did enjoy the video don't forget to like and subscribe as both of those things massively help to support me and my content here on the channel and other than that i will catch you again very very shortly with a brand new upload take care guys and peace